Hey guys, if you guys need your 12 and O's, domination, Evos, any sorts of online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here today, we are going to be doing something pretty special. We have been on one hell of a grind the last couple days. You guys can see we are gonna we are about to play our final game for Diamond Rolando Blackman. That's already pretty cool, but on top of that. We have also been killing it with current domination, and we're actually almost done with that as well. We have a few games left to go there, but yeah, we're actually going to be able to get Rolando Blackman here today. I have another video probably coming to you guys after this, um, and then I'm actually probably going to do a double upload today and then do a triple upload tomorrow, but you guys can see we have been grinding really hard, so I'm actually excited. We're going to go ahead, hop into this historic domination game hopefully beat them pretty easily um and then we are going to be doing like a mini gameplay and a little bit of a, of a review on rolando blackman if you guys do enjoy this video do me a favor and hit that like button if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys want to see and i mean i'm talking hit this grind hard if you guys want to see that man be sure to kill that like button and uh yeah without further ado let's get right into it so we're actually rounding out this game here. You guys can see, like, we actually have a pretty decent lead. Well, it is a seven-point lead. Uh, could obviously be a little bit better here. T-Max is actually going to get wide open, and he's going to knock it down. Um, if you guys actually don't know, for whatever reason, at the end of these games, the computer will, like, always make their shots. So I really don't recommend, like, if you guys are playing these, I really recommend you guys not leaving them open, just trying to do whatever. Because, like I said, historic domination is a little bit different so 1.5 bonus i was gonna say that should easily get us above our total so we have officially completed historic domination as you guys see we're actually gonna get a bunch more tokens right there and then we're gonna actually go on a little bit of a spending spree for a different video um you guys will obviously see that soon but uh yeah i'm actually excited so diamond rolando blackman officially gonna be on the team we're gonna get into the stats and the badges and i actually have a feeling that he's actually gonna be pretty good so let's go ahead and pop open our first diamond player being added to this team. I could go out and pick up Hakeem. I could have went out and picked up Larry Bird. But you guys know I am all about that grind. And our first diamond player is going to be Rolando Blackman, like I've said about a million times. As you guys can tell from the title and all that sort of fun stuff. But there he is. I'm actually going to be excited, man. I think he's going to be a really good fit. If you guys don't know about him, he's a really good 3 and D kind of player. So he is really just going to fit on this team pretty nicely. I don't know where exactly where I'm going to put him because you kind of have to run these guys together. So for now, I am going to go ahead and do something like this. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at his stats and at his badges. He does come with 19 gold badges. Catch and shoot is really solid. Pick dodger uh, is really good. Giant slayer, pro touch, quick first step. Gold quick first step is actually really nice. He's going to be able to kind of attack the rim. Give us some good buckets that way. We do have Hot Zone Hunter as well. Silver badges in Teardropper and Putback Boss. So no clamps, which is pretty interesting. Uh, definitely expected to see it on him. Um, nonetheless, though, we're going to be probably able to add it, which is going to be something that I'm going to do. Um, and then you guys can see we have a good three ball in, in 83. 92 mid-range, which I will gladly take. 95 driving dunk, 85 ball handling. Um, I mean, not too bad. 84 perimeter defense as well. And then 85 speed and 84 lateral quickness. At this point in the game, that is really good. Um, I'm actually really liking the, what I'm seeing from this card already. Like, obviously, like, again, cards aren't going to be 99 everything, especially the free domination cards in the beginning of the year. So for him having decent stats so far, I actually really like that. Tendencies are looking okay here and there. I do just want to see his defensive tendencies. Um, and he does have an, a 92 block and a 92 shot contest. The steal is a little bit low, but um, yeah, for him to have high block and shot contest tendencies, that is really solid. I will gladly take that. So taking a look at his hot zones, um, it's actually pretty nice to see that he does have hot zones on the three-point line. Um, his release is a little bit weird. Um, you know, you just kind of have to get used to it. I'm still getting used to shooting um, in this game. As we do hit a nice little green, you always love to see that back-to-back -back greens. Okay, hold on now. I mean, that one was pretty close as well. But, hey, coming out of the gate, green in two of our two shots almost right away, I will gladly take that. And he actually is knocking down a good amount of shots. So, it's good because he does not have steady shooter. Um, he actually has a pretty good release. And on top of that, like, he actually seems to be pretty good as far as being able to green, like I did say. So, that's what I like to see. Um, hot zone's looking pretty good. Good dribble crossover. Nice little Euro step to the rim as well. You'll love to see it. 
I actually do want to kind of test out what else he can do though. Uh, I'm going to test up a size up nice green on that pull up mid range. Let's take a look at what his size up is. So, okay, not, I mean, a little, a little weird, I guess. I mean, dude, his release is actually really nice. Like coming even in like, or shooting even in a hot zone, he actually just knocked down a green, knocked down a full white, almost knocked down another one. I mean, I'm actually really liking, like I said, what I'm seeing from him here. I like his dribble combos. His release is really good. Like this is actually something I'm a little bit impressed with. You guys can see he might actually be one of the better shooters in this game so far as when it comes to greening shots. I mean, that's like four or five greens already. I like his dribble combos. His dunk package is looking a little basic, but other than that though, I'm definitely liking what I'm seeing. I mean, a oh, nice dribble crossover, nice dunk right there. I'm going to take him online into a TTO game. We're going to see how it goes. I don't want to play any, any unlimited yet, and there, there's a reason why for that, so I do apologize. The uh, gameplay for Rolando Blackman, Nick Van Exel, and probably George Mikan um, are going to be in triple threat, um, but we'll see how it goes. I just kind of want to make a quick review video of these guys anyway. Nothing really too, too crazy, but he greens a lot. Okay, this is my very first game online, and I truly mean my very first game online. So you guys are going to have to cut me some slack when it comes to being able to uh, green some shots and whatnot. I'm not worried about whatever you're going to be trying to do with Shaq here. Good defense right there from Curry. Just got to be able to get that. Good take. Nothing I can really do about that. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have to just get used to the latency. That's on me, though. Let's get this ball right to Rolando Blackman, though. He does have Rocco on him, so... Kind of nice that I'm actually going to be going up against a good defender. It doesn't even matter. Beautiful crossover, getting a lot of space and an easy jam in the paint. That's got to be a steal for Curry. Like, that literally just full court pass hitting me in the back. Now I'm confused. Like, literally, I did that nice little crossover, got a nice little dunk, and my opponent was like, nah, I'm done. This is actually my first look at the brand new boards as well, and I'm actually really liking it. I like how they do the boards like this because... Um, basically you are guaranteed to get the side ones if you kind of time it properly. Um, and they do look a little bit new, which is pretty cool. I don't even know how the rest of it works. So I'm going to figure that out eventually, but I am going to hop into another one because obviously I did one thing with him and then the kid quit. All right. So our next opponent actually has a pretty good team. He's got Curry clay. And then he did take that Kevin Garnett, which is pretty interesting. Uh, the first person I've actually seen use, um, Kevin Garnett so far, um, most of the people I've seen, like, this is actually my second, or this is actually my third online game. Um, the second game I just played, I was lagging so bad. And my opponent was actually pretty good. I was just lagging, so I'm not even going to bother showing you guys that. It is just it is a little bit harder playing with latency, I will say that. But uh, most people I've seen between, um, like, streams and stuff like that, I've either picked AI or Shaq. So pretty interesting to see somebody take KG out here. Let's see what Rolando can do, though. Um, that is obviously our number one thing that I do want to try to do. Go good back to our cut. Rolando Blackman all the way. Nice little jam. Finally getting some points here. Like I said, I'm not like, I, I can't really show you guys a whole lot from this game because it really is just very hard to move. It's not even like it's hard to score. At this point, it's just hard to move. Good contest right there. Good defense. Way to close out. Let's go stick with him. Perfect defense. Let's go. We're all over that. Play that. Watch that corner. Let's go. We're all over that. Good defense. Come on. You got to get that steal. This is like literally what I've seen happen to everybody on Triple Threat though. It's like you can literally just sit here and try to ISO people, but all they're going to do is sit there and off ball with like their center or whatever because you can't shoot. We actually knocked down a big shot right there with Kristaps. Rolando does have four and four, so even though he's not really scoring as much, he actually is playing pretty well. And like I said, the thing I like the most is the defense with the card. So again, I just want to clarify this because I know there's going to be at least somebody that comments and says like, hey, you know, like what happened like this should have been a better gameplay blah 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 blah. i'm not necessarily doing this as a gameplay it's just like a first look at him in the game as far as gameplay goes you know what i mean um how he does kind of play or whatever i'm not really sitting here trying to you know score 100 points with him or anything like that i'm just kind of testing out his defense seeing how he is um let's go you got to get that board my push is out let's go wide open i will take that actually greening a shot right there which is nice to see um and you guys can see too he was actually lagging out of bounds so it's not even just me like online is just really laggy right now my opponent has hit four threes this game and all of them have been full whites like i mean if i'm not i'm just saying like if i can't hit full whites do not let my opponent just smack full white after full white i might even have to turn the meter off honestly the only reason why i keep it on is for domination so obviously if i could uh shoot better online with it off i'm probably gonna do that but you know hey we're gonna take a wide open shot right there it's unfortunate that i was almost an air ball 
Blackman all the way jamming it down right on top of Curry. That is what I like to see. Like I said, that is what I want to see from this card of him actually playing pretty good, getting some good animations and stuff like that. Obviously, cards can play defense and cards can do this, this, or that. But I want to see how Orlando plays. And I've even said multiple times over, excuse me, the last couple days where I do think that he actually could be one of the better cards to start this year off because he does actually have kind of what you need especially this year in the meta that is this year of defense and attacking the rim and stuff like that is we're gonna get him on a backdoor cut jamming it down again that is again what i want to see let's go good defense even clamping up in the post let's go good defense again come on clamp up final possession here let's go nothing easy oh he doesn't have po wow that's just intimidator right there he really just missed that shot that's crazy all right let's go good crossover that easy mid-range pull up Ah, you got to knock that down. I lost. I lost. I'm not even going to lie to you. I choked that game away. That was on me. But hey, I'm not going to hide it from you guys. I obviously have some work to do. I just got to get used to the latency and stuff like that. But overall, what I saw from him, I'm actually really liking it. And he actually can play in the... um. He actually can play in the limited thing, which is pretty nice to see as well. So, obviously, like I said before, though, he is a 6'6 shooting guard that you can run there that can play good defense. He has a good release, too. Um, I think he's actually going to be a pretty good fit on my team. I am going to still start Clay over him, though, surprisingly enough. Um, that's just because I do like the duel of Clay and Curry. They can both shoot very nicely. Um, but we'll see what happens. I might actually end up starting him now that I think about it because there is some tweaks to my lineup that I want to do. But again, we'll see what happens there. Um, outside of that, though, I really do like this card. Um, is he worth grinding? It's a little iffy. I think it's more worth grinding for the tokens as of right now. But he is still pretty cool. So I will gladly take a free diamond on the team of day two of this game being out. So no money spent squad. So I'll take a free diamond. If you guys did enjoy this video, though, be sure to leave a like on it. Would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, peace.